you got to hate paddling like this. It's really, really cold. Like, incredibly cold. And the wind is pretty bloody strong. All the trees are blowing on an angle like that. So, well, not quite that much. But, you know me, I like to exaggerate. But, uh, that's what the water looks like. From here, the waves don't look too big. And in reality, they're not, but it's the wind that's the pain in the neck. Get a wave going the wrong way and a nice gust of wind. And you're all of a sudden floating upside down 150 meters in the middle of some big lake, which is freaking cold. So, uh, you don't want to capsize. Can't even keep me bloody hair, mate. Catch you later.
Crazy shit. My heart is beating really fast, and my arms are pooped. Seriously. Oh, man. The equivalent of that tiny little paddle. Well, that's only about that's only 300 meters. For that amount of paddling, I should be halfway around the exterior of the lake. Far out. That is intensely insane. Whew. My fingers are turning blue. I do not recommend anyone does that with that sort of wind. Unless you got a sail. In fact, that'd probably knock a freaking sail back clean out of the water. And it gets to the stage where you don't want to go back into the wind because it's just so friggin' harsh. But the kayak has got to do what a kayak has got to do. And in order to get and get back to my car, which equals getting back home, I've got to go back that way where I just came from. And I know you probably can't see shit right now because of the fog, but at least you can hear my voice. 